All right, so let's do our Breast Health 101, which okay. is how you call it. We're going to have you go over to our 3D image wall, if you don't mind, doctor, okay. and uh, walk over there. I believe we have the breast anatomy. So let's start with just the basic 101 on the breast and how it's made up and what problems can occur. So I think that it's important before we talk about conditions, um, abnormal conditions in the breast, such as breast cancer and um, normal or benign breast conditions that we talk about what's normal in the breast. And this is a diagram that depicts the anatomy of the breast. And the breast is typically composed of three types of tissues. So we have the glandular tissue, which is made up of the lobules and the ducts. And this is the tissue where the milk is produced. So the breast is divided into about 15 to 20 segments. Um, each of these segments contains lobes um, uh, which contain lobules and these are the milk producing glands and once the milk is produced this milk travels through these passageways or ducts that all converge in the nipple as they exit through the breast. Now um, the other uh, tissue found in the breast is connective tissue and this is what's responsible for giving the breast its shape and providing support for the breast and it contains some suspensory ligaments or Cooper's ligaments. And then finally we have um, fat also uh, in the breast. And the composition of the breast tissue varies depending upon a woman's age, depending upon the um, woman's hormone status, and depending upon genetics. So in general, younger women tend to have more of this glandular and connective tissue, and therefore their breasts are more dense um, and more firm than older women.